So my name is Gitta. I'm sitting here with Susan Park, who just presented today. Could you maybe tell us something about that? So what I presented today was on accountability and global environmental governance. And this is based on research I've done with Teresa Kramatz. Um, we're both co-conveners of the Accountability in Global Environmental Governance Task Force as part of the Earth Systems Governance. And the edited collection that we have coming out in February for MIT Press, titled The Accountability Trap in Global Environmental Governance, essentially looks at the ways in which different accountability um, mechanisms have been devised in response to public, private and voluntary governance institutions. And we've looked at, with the task force and, and with the edited collection and all of our collaborators, looked at the ways in which accountability is linked to whether or not um, a governance institution is public, private or voluntary. And with hybrid institutions, how governance, um, how those specific hybrid governance mechanisms have created accountability mechanisms that are set within defined logics. So f for the private system, it's based around economic profit. For public systems, it's about being representative to, um, to the people. And for voluntary systems, like through environmental NGOs running specific um, uh, voluntary arrangements, it's about the ways in which they are responsive for their network, to their network. So the ways in which they create ideas and then um, are able to export them. So what we look at in the volume is the ways in which um, the different governing arrangements have set logics and those logics define or determine or delimit the accountability mechanisms that are created in response. Okay, thanks a lot. That sounds very interesting. Could you maybe also tell us something about your latest research? So I look at um, accountability in a range of different contexts. Um, the work I've done for Earth Systems Governance has been around global environmental governance. Um, the other work I do on accountability is in the sustainable development sphere. So I look at the, the role of the multilateral development banks. And over a 20-year period, they all created in um, what they call independent accountability mechanisms, but they're sort of grievance mechanisms where people that are adversely affected by a project funded by the multilateral development banks, so the World Bank, the African Development Bank, the Inter-American Development Bank, they can actually go to the banks and seek recourse. And so that's if they transgress their environmental and social policies. So if they're pushed off their land without any compensation or if they haven't followed their environmental impact assessment, then communities can go to the banks. Um, so that research um, really has looked at why they were created, um, why um, and how they operate, because they've been operating for over 20 years um, for the World Bank's inspection panel, and whether or not they change the cultures of the banks. And there's a kind of broken feedback mechanism in terms of trying to change the culture of the banks. But in some circumstances and in some conditions, they can actually make things better for project-affected people. Okay, thank you. And uh, is there something else you're especially looking forward to this week or today? Uh, some sessions you want to attend still? There's loads. <laughs> there are so many great panels. Um, this is uh, this is the highlight of the academic calendar for most of us because it brings together so many great scholars working on environmental governance. Um, but I am really looking forward to a panel I'll be on tomorrow um, on the low carbon economy, um, sort of questioning what we need to do and how to get there. Um, and also, of course, um, looking forward to all of the other panels on extractives um, because there's some big questions about how we can hold actors to account in the extractive industries still. Yeah. And my last question, you're also hosting a task force meeting on Thursday uh, on accountability as well. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell us something about that? So this is um, sort of takes off from where, where we left in terms of looking at the new generation of um, debates and discussions in accountability and global environmental governance. So we've got a, a small collection of, of scholars that are working in this area, um, looking at a whole range of different practices, um, like the extractive um, industry trans the Extractive Industry Transparency Initiative, um, but also looking at the ways in which different actors are trying to hold each other to account um, using tools that we might not have thought um, and in ways that we might not have, have previously known about. So, so it's really exciting to look at um, the research being done in that area and, and of course people are all welcome. Well, thanks a lot. Thank you for your time.